quick check guys got another video here for you if you are looking to upgrade your pc or build a brand new system and waiting for that new amd ryzen 4000 series cpus to be released then this video is for you let's talk about uh the b450 and let's talk about the B550, the X570, and also the X470, which I don't have here, but basically all of those four boards will be able to use uh, the latest AMD Ryzen 4000 series CPUs when they are released. Uh, there is one thing that you have to take into account is the B450 and the X470 will have to have a beta BIOS flash to them, which you can get from AMD. Uh, and also AMD have stated that this is a one-way ticket. You can only uh, flash the BIOS once with that beta BIOS, you won't be able to go back. So if you don't like it and it's not compatible, you're having crashing issues or thermals are really bad, or maybe you're not getting the performance that you want from it, um, then you may want to go back and you won't be able to. You're locked in uh, to that beta BIOS. Now, I'm not a big fan of beta BIOSes, so if you are looking to buy a cheaper board, because these are pretty cheap at the moment, you can get these Aorus boards for around about 80 odd pounds in the UK, which I suppose is around about $90 or something like that, um, around about that sort of price point. And a lot of people are suggesting you go and buy this B450 over the B550 because they're saying it's the same board and you're just paying a lot more money for the B550. That is not the case. That's someone that's uh, just making their own uh, assumptions on stuff. They haven't really looked at the boards or even looked at the specs of the boards because they're both totally different types of boards. You're getting quite a lot more for your money with the B550. This is the extreme gaming version, which means it's the bleeding edge of B550s that you can get uh, compared to some of the more standard B550s. The VRMs are gonna be a lot more higher on these and better uh, than some of the lower end stuff. So let's talk about uh, what you get for your money. So let's just say that you're upgrading your PC and you've got a B450 or you've got an X470. Should you keep this and should you just wait until they release the uh, processors, AMD release them and then flash the bars and use them? I personally wouldn't do that. I just don't think it's a good call. Uh, I think the best thing for you to do if you do want to use the latest 4000 series processors what i would do is i would take the motherboard out the ram out and the cpu out and sell it on ebay and get as much money as you can for it or sell the whole computer whatever you want to do uh, but then get your money back and buy, buy yourself either a b550 motherboard uh, with a with the brand new chip when they release them and some faster ram also you can go with the x570 motherboard it doesn't have to be this brand of board at all it's just the name at uh, the number that you're looking at it could be any brand msi asrock uh you know you know asus whatever floats your boat um just get whatever one you can afford there's different variants of these boards there's the master ultra pro there's different ones and they're all got different features but you know it's entirely up to you so if you have if you are looking to upgrade i would definitely uh ditch the b450 and go with a new board now why would i say that uh, one is the beta bios problem i would just try to avoid that like the plague just try and uh, not go down that route also these boards have uh, pcie uh, gen 4 ready both of these boards this isn't this is pcie gen 3 what does that mean in layman's terms well Let's just put it into something a bit more simple. If you've got, say for instance, the fastest NVMe drives out there, which are the NVMe Gen 4s, which is this something like this uh, Sabian Rocket, uh, you can expect on these types of boards, B550 and the X570 boards, you can expect something like 5,000 uh, reads and writes uh, on this particular board, on both of these boards. Whereas if you're using something like the B450, you're probably going to get around about 3,000, if you're lucky, around that sort of mark, reads and writes. And that's because you can only uh, utilise Gen 3. So you're not going to be able to utilise the full speed of this um, magnificent NVMe drive. So really, that's one way of looking at it. 
Now the graphics card also utilizes that lane as well and you're probably not going to see much difference between the two when it comes to the GPUs as of yet. It's just not going to be able to exhaust that or utilize that at the moment, but NVMe drives will. Uh, so let's talk about um, VRMs and power phases. There's a big difference between these two as well. So the power phases for something like this, which is the B450, you're looking at, um, let's see here what I've written down here. So it's eight and three uh, phase. So you've got uh, 11 power phase uh, for this uh, Aorus board. Uh, whereas the brand new Rogstrix uh, B550, that comes in with a four, 14 M2 uh, power phase unit. So you're talking about 16 power phases on this, which is a lot more compared to this one. So if you're looking to overclock and you're looking for a bit more, uh, a more better quality board, then obviously you're gonna go for something like this. Also the VRMs on the X570 are pretty good as well. So this is going to be great when you're utilizing uh, higher end processors. Maybe you're looking at the higher end market of processors when they release them and this will utilize that better. You'll probably get better thermals and, and things like that compared to something like this, which thermals will start to climb and you will probably end up with higher thermals on the B450 over the B550 and the X570. And that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, also, just for the for reference, uh, the B450 uh, Tomahawk or B550 Tomahawk has 13 power phases in it. If you was looking at the B550 Tomahawk instead of this one, so that's 13 power phases. This one has a few more. This is the extreme version. Okay, so what else has this got? Well, it's got um, USB Type C on it. It's got better Wi-Fi technology on here. You know it's generally a better board also the memory speeds on here are going to be a lot more so they're not the same on here you're probably looking at 64 gigabytes maximum on here you're looking at 128 gigabytes maximum of memory now you may be saying yeah well who's going to utilize that sort of uh, memory well there is people out there that do uh, you uh, use a lot of memory and they are going to utilize it so also memory speeds is very important. Remember Ryzen uh, utilizes uh, the memory speeds quite a bit. It uses that. And of course the speeds on this is 3600 uh, RAM speeds on here. Whereas on this one is 5100 uh, overclock max as well. So you're looking at a big difference and that's because we're pushing forward uh, in RAM speeds. Now we're probably coming to Pretty much when I would say people on the internet are talking about the Ryzen 5000 series already, and that's just clickbait, just trying to get people to go on there and uh, you know watch their videos. But no one's got that sort of information out there. But when that's released, I'm pretty sure of it, it's gonna be a DDR5 and also probably a different socket. Uh, AMD have promised uh, to keep the socket, which they have, which is AM4 and uh, they have kept that socket and they were guaranteeing that for five years they've actually gone over that period and i'm pretty sure the new 5000 series processors probably will be a different socket and i would have thought probably different memory probably ddr5 i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure one of those two is going to change in the near future for the next generation of stuff so this board in general is a lot more better than uh, your previous b450 they're not the same uh, beast at all so looking at, so does this mean does the B450, is this finished? Should you even consider buying it? Well, there is a, a place for this board and I will put it into its category for you. If you're looking for a cheap gaming system and you want to game on, say for instance, a Ryzen uh, 5 3600 or something like that, and you want to get a cheap board, you can get this for around about uh, 80 to 90 uh, dollars or something along those lines, 80 pounds, 80 is pounds. And you can use something like this and put the Ryzen 3600 in there and you, you should be good to go if you're just gaming. That's the thing uh, with Ryzen. They've flooded the market with some really affordable processors. Even the Ryzen 3 3100 or 3300X is still a pretty good chip and you could even buy that and stick it in a board like this if you want something El Cheapo and go down that route. If you're looking for something a bit more advanced, a bit more 
enthusiast sort of level then you can go with something like these and go up a bit up the market a little bit more you're going to spend the money now the difference between prices on these and this is a big difference the people complained and said this is a bit too expensive but when you break it down you can get a b550 motherboard uh, at around about 140 to 150 pounds around that sort of um, sort of price point uh, even cheaper if you look at some of the more budget ones again some of the more higher end ones are a lot more money you're going to pay more money for the more like top of the headline um, bleeding edge sort of b550 which is going to be your rog strix uh, sort of level other than that really the choice is yours what it comes down to is uh, you pays your money you takes your choice so you're not paying vast amounts but what you're getting is a lot more uh, a lot more for your money with the b550 i think over the b450 so this does still have its place but would i buy this if i was building a brand new computer waiting for the ryzen 4000 series processor and the short answer to that is no i wouldn't waste my time or money on it i think you have to at some point move forward uh, this has still got a place for the earlier generations but not for the i think i wouldn't go out and spend that money even though you're saving quite a bit um on on money if you over this b550 i think you'll see a difference in thermals and performance and everything else that comes with it later on down the line also i just want to point out with the b550 is that this can only run uh, 3000 series processors uh, going backwards and 4000 series processors it's not going to be able to run uh, the earlier ones like the 2000 series or anything like that and also it doesn't cover the APUs which is the 3400G or the 3200G so if you're looking to buy a 3400G processor and drop it straight into the B550 then it won't work so just bear that in mind uh, when you're looking to buy your system if you can buy the x570 and you can get that well cheaper than uh, the b550 then by all means go ahead and get yourself the x570 because it's still a pretty good board and it's probably gonna if you like overclocking and stuff like that you're going to want to get yourself the best board possible anyway starting to ramble i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys if you need any more information you can always pop on our discord server there's plenty of good technicians on there that will be able to advise you anyway thanks again bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos